Hi everyone and welcome back to Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making my Greatest Showman inspired This Is Me bow. Now for this one you're going to need a 65mm alligator clip, bow templates, I'm using the bottom and the middle of the Rosie Lou bow template. You're going to need a pen, a glue gun, some scissors and I have this felty from Emma Jo Felties. Uh, so this is me top hat to represent the ringmaster. Then I have got some gold, some black and some red glitter fabric. So first of all what we need to do is draw around the middle template onto the red fabric. I've already done this here, I've got two ready. And then you need to get the bottom of the template and draw around it on the black which I've already done here, I've got two ready. Then you need to cut those out and then glue them together. So we'll just cut them out. So we've got the pieces cut out, now we need to just glue this one together. So once you've done that, I'm just going to put this to one side. I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, you're going to need some of this Rick Rack. Um, it's like a wavy edged uh, ribbon or edging and it's in gold and it's called Rick Rack. I just got this off eBay. Any uh, haberdashery or craft shop should sell it. So what we're going to do is we're going to embellish this bow with it. So what I like to do is turn the bow over, sort of hold it on that corner and pull it across and we'll just give it a little snip at the end there. You can cut it longer than you need because you can neaten it up uh, towards the end but we'll just make sure it looks right. We're just going to embellish this on the side of the bow there. So I need to put some uh, glue on the rick rack. Not too much that is going to seep out, just a small bit of glue. Start it at the back of the bow at an angle and then bring it around the front. And then glue the rest of it in place. I basically left that bit just so it didn't burn my fingers. You can glue it all if you're more confident with it. Some people asking me what I do when I put my hand over there. I've just got a little tub which I put all my rubbish in on the edge of the table. So then we need to get another piece of this and we're going to do another row of it. And again, we're going to glue that in place. It doesn't have to be too neat on the back because that's going to be glued to the base. And then we neaten this up by just chopping in line with the um, edge of the bow. If any glue seeps out like this one has a tiny little bit, just try and get the glue off as best as you can. And then we're going to glue that to the base. And 
and then we are going to glue the clip onto it. So if you wanted to put this on a headband or on a hair elastic, this is the time that you would do that. Instead of gluing the clip on, you would glue the headband to the middle or the hair elastic to the middle. And then really you just need a scrap piece of gold. I haven't got any scrap pieces left, so I'm just gonna cut a center piece. And then we're just gonna glue that onto the middle of the bow. So we lift up the clip, glue in the middle, pop that on, wrap it round. This glitter fabric is super chunky, so it's a little bit hard to cut through. Put some glue on that bit and put it under the clip and then we're going to put the hat on. So the felties are really really nice, been cut super straight, double sided, the stitching's lovely and it fits just on the side of my bow. So I'll line it up with the center there and then the edge, I don't want to see any red through it. So I'll just line it up. So I can't see the red behind it and that's where it's gonna go. Now, if you look at the back of this, there's only a certain part of that felty that needs glue on it. So you can either glue, put your glue on this part of the bow or as I like to do, I put the glue across the bottom of the felty and then just up in a triangle like that. Then we pop that on there and as you can see it's there's no glue seeping out. So just as that glue is drying I like to push my finger inside the bow like that and shape the felty around the curve of the bow while the glue's drying, then the glue will dry in that shape. And you'll feel from the heat with it getting cooler that the glue is drying. And then if you felt it, if, you, if the glue that you put on has missed part of the bow, um, this could do a little bit more here. You can just add a little bit more glue just to stick it down on that bit. And then it's perfectly fastened to it and it's in the nice shape of the bow not just a flat felty it makes it a little bit more shaped and there we go greatest showman inspired this is me ringmaster bow you could double layer these bows but i find that the felty doesn't really stick to the smaller layer very well that's why I've sort of embellished this side and put this on. So what do you think? Quick and simple, but a really nice finish to the bow. So here's a close up. This one is a really quick, simple, easy bow to make. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, use the hashtag from the group. If you want to know what I'm talking about, I have a Facebook group, Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube. And if you uh, search for that, or I'll pop a link in the description, join the group and you can chat about the tutorials, have a look what the hashtag is about. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and turn those bell notifications on so you can see next time I upload. I'm gonna be doing a lot more bows in the Inspired By series. So, yep, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.